Yeah, I have quite a few pets. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mary. In today's video, I want to discuss how I maintain a complete normal life um, with having 20 animals and not feeling overwhelmed and just being happy and really content with all the pets I have. Um, I just want to say that this video is totally going to be coming from my perspective. Not everybody is going to have the lifestyle that I live, but I just kind of want to give you guys some inspiration on how I do live with this many pets and maintain a social life have time for my husband, have time for my garden, have time for a podcast, have time for a YouTube channel, while just giving my pets the best life possible. I really try to spoil all my pets. I mean, if you guys have seen my channel, you know that my pets are my children. So I wanna just kind of shine light that is that it is totally possible having this many pets and giving them all the best life possible. Um, like I said, this is totally from my perspective. Not everybody can do this, but it's not impossible. I have a lot of friends that have multiple pets and live a completely healthy, happy, normal life. So, um, yeah, I just kind of want to talk about how I ended up in the spot I am and how I maintain a peaceful, happy lifestyle. But um, before I get on to that, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button notification bell, all that good stuff. I've been on a roll lately posting videos. I try to post at least two times a week on my critters or my pets. I'm currently just um, redoing everybody's enclosure, enclosure, upgrading once again. So go check out all my other videos. I also do videos on my dogs. Let me tell you guys how I live this lifestyle. Like I said, it's not for everybody, but for me, having this many pets started from like the day I was born. My grandmother, uh, rest her soul, she actually passed a couple weeks ago. Um, she's a Capricorn just like me. She literally always had more than five pets around, whether that be dogs, birds, turtles. I was just always raised with that many animals around with her. So it wasn't like the internet came and I had to get all these pets. Um, it was just something I loved and lived for all my life. I have always had animals and I'm really thinking about doing like a past video, a past pet video because I do want to talk to you guys about my horses I've had, my other dogs. I just had a lot of animals in my life. So once I ended up getting married and having my own house, that I own and having a room to myself. Grown up dreams really did happen and I ended up with all my pets, not to mention love and support from my husband. So that's why I am here right now. If I was 18, you know, 18, 21, for me personally, like I had a social life so I could have my horse and my dog and that was pretty much it. I honestly don't think I would be able to maintain all these pets because when I was 18, 20, 18, 19, 20, 21, all my life, I pretty much always had a job and was never home when I was young. Uh, things have totally switched around for me. Um, I am 30 years old, own my own house, and I am always, always home. I do travel from time to time, but I work from home. I am always home. My pets are like my children. I decided not to have any children. So I don't know. It's been going around on the internet that, you know, it's in, if you have this many animals, you know, I'm not even gonna say the word. It starts with an H that you're this. And I just think that's so wrong to call out anybody that, first of all, it's like, that's a mental health issue. It's in, a serious issue. You just can't drop that word around and call people that because I am definitely not that. I have my sh together. I'm just very organized and it took me 30 years to get to this point. I have a routine with all my pets. I have um, money for all my pets. I have a house. 
And I think that's just something that really makes me feel good owning this many pets is the fact that I am a home owner. And I mean, I know that people can have rent houses and rent apartments and still have this many pets, but the fact that like, you know, one day somebody can't tell me you need to leave and I have all these animals, it's that's something that never stresses me out because this is where I'm going to be staying. So that's just another reason why it works out for me having all these pets. Um, another thing is my husband is extremely supportive. It's not just one person on the other end. It's two. Although my husband like doesn't necessarily like love the reptiles, he loves the amphibians, he loves the dogs, he accepts my snakes, but he is just another income and another helping hand to make this all work. Although he really doesn't help me that much out with like cleaning. Uh, actually, he's never cleaned any poop up, but that's fine because this is my responsibility. Um, I work from home, so I'm always around checking on them. I don't have to be somewhere at a certain time. So if misting comes a little bit later in the morning, it comes a little bit later in the morning. If you have a full-time job or you have to be at work at eight o'clock, it might not work out that you're a little bit late on your misting. I'm sorry if this video just comes out really ranty. I mean, if you guys seen my video before, I really, really do strive to, you know, not just give my pets like the bare minimum. I strive to give all my animals the best that they can. Um, constantly upgrading, constantly still learning about my critters. Um, I have notebooks down. I'm very organized. If you're not a very organized person, you know, might not work out you having this many pets. It's all a personal thing. So I just think it's really unfair for people to say it's not right having this many animals. I'm such a happy, healthy person having all of my pets. Never do I ever feel stressed out. I mean, okay, I won't, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I ever feel stressed out is when I'm like super hungover the next day and I gotta get my head in, take care of my animals. So like, that's the only thing that sucks, but that's just on me. Other than that, I'm good. But don't get me wrong, add in like a tegu and an iguana, I might be a little bit more stressed out just because I have my new puppy right now. I don't take on anything more than I can't handle. Like, of course I want to take you, but I just know deep down I can't handle it. I got my house plants. If I didn't maybe have all my house plants, then maybe I could add in a take him to the mix. But my mix that I got going on, my routine, is just like really great right now. So I don't know. I do want to give hope to everybody that one day wants to have a beautiful collection because it is possible. You can be compassionate towards everybody. And I do feel like I have plenty of time. I have a Rottweiler, I have my Boston Terrier, I have my Santana, you know, I have my husband I have to deal with. Also just a normal social life. I see my friends all the time. I make sure I take care of myself. I go to yoga almost once a week. So, you know, it's just all who you are and balancing it all out. Like I said, it's taken me about 30 years to get to the point that I'm at, but I'm actually just really, I'm extremely happy with my keeping. And as a dog mom, I feel like my dogs are way more well taken care of than some children, along with some of my reptiles. I mean, these guys, they be living good out here. So I just want to give hope to people that it is possible. You just have to manage it all out, figure it all out, and you can have as many pets. I love my babies to death, and they are the best thing that has ever happened to me because I love to stay busy. If I didn't have all these animals, I don't even know what I would be doing. I'd be getting in some trouble, probably hanging out with some losers. Thank God for my animals and thank God for this channel. I absolutely love this channel. I've met so many other amazing like reptile keepers that have this many pets and we discuss it all the time. Like, do you ever feel stressed about, you know, if you were stressed, they would know when to like, you know, ask for help. So I don't know. I just really think that Having met this many pets can bring a lot of joy more than stress if you do it the right way. Having this YouTube channel, being able to show you guys them is just a benefit because I love to film, I love to be on camera, I love to take pictures. So the fact that I could add the two together just made sense to me. 
uh, I do understand that some people do do it for clout and like you, you, you could tell who those people are. They're getting a pet literally every freaking week and not quarantining them and not caring and giving them the bare minimum. That's easy to see. You don't need to, it, you'll, you'll see that in videos. You could see who the real ones are and are not. So if anybody thinks I have animals just for clout, then whatever. I could care less because I love my babies. <laughs> They're my children. Hey you guys, thank you so much for sitting here and listening to me. If you want to see in-depth videos of all my pets and closures, I did do a reptile room tour like four months ago. But like I said, I'm in the process of changing everybody up, which I'm almost there. Like I got some new things hanging. I moved some stuff around. So I'm getting excited about my reptile room again and still working on upgrading my snakes enclosure. Um, until the next time, you guys, I will see you. Bye.